marching on Larrakee country to celebrate Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture and people. I think this is one of the biggest ones we've had in history. It's amazing. I actually feel so happy because it means so much to me. So it's good that everyone's here to support. <laughs> NAIDOC Week celebrates the history and achievements of First Nations people and it gives the community an opportunity to take part in a range of cultural events. It's a really big focus on family every single year. It's during the school holidays, so seeing our little people out and celebrating with them. I like the one that was on the dances and I like the one that all of the shops were free. This year's NAIDOC theme is Hill Country, which calls for greater protections for the land, sea and sacred sites. The, the literal sense that we're caring for the country, the land, the environment, but, this, but also healing as a country. I try to get back to, you know, my country or obviously get down to the salt water um, every now and again, dip my feet into the water um, just to ground myself. I need to do a lot of grounding, um, I think, and I need to practice it a lot more. NAIDOC Week is an opportunity to learn Footballer Letitia Jeffrey was a guest speaker at today's event and she left the audience with a message. I ask you all to reflect on the role that you play in shaping a better future for all of us and hope you can all be a part of the journey to move forward. NAIDOC Week celebrations winds up this weekend. Peter Lacey, ABC News.